Hello. I'm going to do a little Starship Troopers update for y'all since that's what I've been doing the last couple days. I haven't been really painting. Um, kind of been on an assembly kick. And uh, yeah, this is the Ripperbug Mega Swarm for the Arachnid Empire. It contains nine models. Uh, made by Mongoose Publishing. And there's the original price, which in this case wasn't as bad. I didn't pay, I paid 10 bucks. But a lot of the Mongoose kits, I noticed their price, they were expensive. Even back then in the quality, this is a real nice one. Um, not too impressed with some of the actual Trooper kits. I will get into that later. So here's the back of the box. And you can see assembly. There's your model, I presume. Uh, nine sprues of one individual model per sprue and nine flight bases with extra pegs. Okay, here we have the sprue for the Ripper Swarm. And you can see this one is much more Tyranid looking. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Scything talents. <laughs> um, carapace it does sort of have a bumblebee tail, but it doesn't have a stinger. The big wings down here at the bottom. And again, that's enough to make one whole model. Okay, so here's the assembled ripper. And there's a goblin for scale. Poor little guy's got to defend himself. Um, you can see it's a noticeably, it's a decent sized miniature. I haven't glued the wings in. He's not glued to the flight stand for priming. But uh, another one that I've put together and can use a scale. Here you can see the proportion compared to the standard arachnid worker warrior model. Uh, they take up about the same amount of space with the warrior having a little longer leg room there. Okay, so here's the uh, Marauder suit and basic modeling. I'd like to point out that the uh, canopy came in a clear protective bag due to avoid scratches. And uh, each model comes with multiple canopies, so uh, you end up with a spare which is nice. You can see the trooper mounted inside of this Marauder suit. It doesn't look anything like the uh, movie Marauder suit. And uh, it remains somewhat articulated. The arms can move. The pelvis and legs can move. I haven't glued those joints together, but it, they're almost made to be snap tight models. There's really only a few seams that will need glued on the uh, entire piece here. And all in all, not a very inspiring model. Two sprues worth. I'm not going to show all these in the uh, multi-stage kit because I doubt there's too many people. If you want me to, I can. Here's the chicken hawk, which would make a nice sentinel proxy. Has a neat look to it. I originally bought a couple of these for... Uh, AEWW2, something to proxy in some sort of mechanized thing. This has an option that you can have two load, I, I guess you call them loader claws, but you get the idea what I'm talking about. I'll build one of those next. But, um, yeah, and let's throw a trooper on here for scale. Okay, assembling two squads of these troopers which is what comes in the starter box it took me a whole day and they would have all been really plain had I not had a candle burning and a pair of pliers um, the opinion or my opinion of the models themselves eh, maybe a 7 out of 10 or eh, not as good as they could have been. And uh, the, they didn't have a lot of extra bits. And, you know, just the whole posability of it wasn't very 
pleasant. You basically had holding gun hands, you know what I mean, like straight in front of you with one hand closer to the gun than the other and then the hand that the guy's holding the staff in, there's only two of those, or actually one of those per eight guys because there's 16 here. Um, yeah, better than average, but could have been better. A lot of work. Let's get up in here. Give it a second to focus so you can see what's going on. It's been too cold to prime, so I still hope to get some of these things painted up soon to show you guys. I'm happy with them. I mean, I can't complain. They were dirt cheap. <laughs> and they would work as guard proxies. They're of equal size, pretty much. Um, three types of heavy weapons. You can see the guy there with the rocket, the shoulder-fired RPG or whatever. That's a flamer guy kneeling there in the front. And this guy, which you can't really see it very good. Let's go over here. I can't see he's very good either. Sorry. That guy's got a triple barreled grenade launcher. I guess you can see it better over there. But he's got a grenade too in his hand because he's double badass. He's ready to take on Chuck Norris.